This is a Hot Pie Original. I didn't really think that I would get a chance because it just, he's kind of my favorite new guy and my favorite moment. I didn't really see another opportunity to talk about cakes on a stick. I don't know what a cake on a stick is, but apparently the promise of a cake on a stick and a lotto ticket works. Now, I, I've yet to find out if anyone really knows about cake on a stick, <laughs> but I don't know how we ramp things up from here. You know who's, uh, who's apparently looking like a genius right now, and that is the very nerdy governor of Ohio, the charismatic one, Governor Mike DeWine. He sold his state and did it very effectively, apparently, because the numbers are in. He sold his state. Remember, he sold his state on the promise of cake on a stick and lotto tickets. Offer incentives to get more people vaccinated. The Reds and Indians are offering discounts on tickets to their games. Minor league teams are doing it as well. With a vaccine, White Castle is offering free butter cakes on a stick. <laughs> Kroger is offering employees $100 in cash, and Scott's Miracle Grow, Worthington Industries, Marathon, and many others have provided clinics at their work sites for their employees and for their families. It's, it's not cakes, Jeff. It's butter. Is it butter cakes on a stick? Did I get that right? Do we have that at the state to fair? reach out, offer incentives to get more people vaccinated. The Reds and Indians are offering discounts on tickets to their games. Minor league teams are doing it as well. With a vaccine, White Castle is offering free butter cakes on a stick. <laughs> How big is the stick? <laughs> I mean, it's like a chicken leg. You just sort of pick that thing up there and cakes on a stick. I mean, no wonder this thing worked. Man, that night, charismatic Mike DeWan, remember this, this news conference of him, it went on like an hour and a half. We had to fast forward to Cakes on a Stick. We had to fast forward 40 minutes to get, I'm sorry, butter cakes on a stick. I was offering free butter cakes <laughs> on a stick. It just makes me so happy. Would I, could I eat one? No, if I had a cake on a stick, I'd nap for three hours. My God, that sounds horrific. <laughs> Do you get that at a drive-thru? Is that like a COVID thing? Well, here's your, so is that what that is? That's COVID. That's COVID related? So you stick it out. So you go to White Castle and so they go to the drive. Do they have a drive-thru? I have no idea. I have to ask Mike DeWine. And they just stick it out the drive-thru window. Here's your cake on a stick. Free butter cakes on a stick. <laughs> How much is a butter cake on a stick? Can you get one without a stick? I get a napkin, a plate. I don't want a stick today. I just want the butter cake. <laughs> no, we only have it on a stick. Well, Mike, you win, buddy. You win. You and your butter cuck on a butter. I was offering three <sighs> butter cakes on a stick. Yeah, that. That. It worked. All right. How about this? Uh, all right. His, uh, it's called a Vax a Million Lottery Strategy. And the report is now that a surge in COVID-19 vaccinations since the incentive was announced. So, I mean, that night, Mike goes cake on a stick. The next day, the anti-vaxxers, the MAGA hats say, screw this. I need some cake on a stick. Give me the shot. Let's go. Thank you. Do you eat the cake on a stick when you get the shot? Does it help with the side effects? Governor Mike DeWine announced the lottery on May 12th that will see five vaccinated adults win a $1 million prize. Starting May 26th for five weeks, a winner will be announced each Wednesday. Friday marked the highest. Okay, remember this. It only took a couple days for the vaccine numbers to go up dramatically after cakes on a stick and the lottery prize. So Three butter cakes on a stick. I want to get an extra shot. I'm going to get a shot of the butt cheeks just to get a kick on a stick. Hey, dude, I, you've had the vaccine before. Come on. I just want a cake on a stick. 
Do they have it sitting by? You know, they, they have the syringes there, a little bucket. Do they have the cakes on a stick sitting there? Do you eat it while you get your shot? Friday marked the highest vaccination day in three weeks, two days after the lottery was announced with 25,414 shots in arms. The overall increase in shots was likely bolstered by the May 10 approval of the Pfizer vaccine for 12 to 15 year olds. Ah, blah, 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 blah. That's not why they went. They went for the cakes on a stick. Even the kids did it. Here you go. Uh, DeWine says, we're getting anecdotal reports back from the health department that we're seeing an increase in vaccinations. We've been seeing a downturn that continued. Fewer and fewer people were getting vaccinated. It appears that we have bottomed out and that there's some indication that we are seeing a dramatic increase. And what he meant to say was because of the cakes on a stick. Offering free butter cakes on a stick. <laughs> so Father's Day is coming up. You're doing the gift yeah. boxes. Yep. So here's something that's certainly not a tie or a sweater or a pair of socks. Not a bad idea. Well, I think it's great if you if you don't know what to get your dad. I mean, get him some hot sauce. That way he can prove how much of a man he is, right? Uh, and we'll, and this hot sauce will go great and your dad will love it. So I think it makes a great gift box. You can go to our website and find those there. Um, it come in packs of four. It, it's a great box that you just give to your dad and say, listen, here, dad, thanks for, you know, for being my dad. And uh, it's not that sock that's just going to go in a drawer. It's not that gift card that's going to go in a wallet, never be, never be used again. It's actually something he can share with his friends. And so I think it's a great idea. All right. Order a box now. It's ATXHotsauce.com. ATXHotsauce.com. You know, I'm sure somebody's going to say, no, I don't know what you're going to say. I'm, let me back off that because that's going to end badly. Maybe the suggestion is, what's the big deal? Women do this. Of which my response is, no, probably not. <laughs> okay. This is shockingly pathetic, even by the narcissistic standards of today. I'm going to do all I can not to make fun of people that are into bodybuilding. No, I'm going to make fun of you. You're an idiot. Sorry. I think it's stupid. Uh, it's not athletic to tan your butt cheeks and not be able to touch your toes. That's not being an athlete. But that's not necessarily what this is about entirely. I don't even know how to do this justice. This is one of the most ridiculous things that can't be healthy. You know, I don't want to advocate this. You might as well do steroids. I think it's a better idea than this. Muscular body costume gives men the appearance of looking ripped. Use your imagination and whatever you think up, it's worse than that. So apparently these silicone body suits are being sold. You losers, please hear me when I call you a loser. <laughs> First of all, you tan your butt cheeks, you're a loser. But you do this, you're off the charts. You can get a half muscular silicone bodysuit or <laughs> a full body. <laughs> it takes you six hours to get in this thing. By the time you get ready, the gym's closed, or you know, you're walking around in circles uh, at the beach. You can get a full silicone bodysuit for $800. It's reported dailymail.com. A selection of retailers have come up with a solution for people who want to look ripped without the hassle of months of working out and dieting to achieve their goals. The website is Tabo, T-A-O-B-A-O, -A -A is selling silicone bodysuits to give people the appearance of looking shredded without having to leave the couch. I, I, you know, I can't even, there's the photo. You want to look? Of course, that's not him. And the realistic picture of this would be some fat guy trying to get into this suit. Are you kidding? How health, does it melt? Like, I wear neoprene waders when I fish and that's pretty hot. What is an entire silicone bodysuit? From your neck to your ankles, I don't know. How hot do you get? 
The muscular costumes. So it shows your veins and everything, too. So you know what it's going to look like. It's going to look like those morons at the gym who just do about 40 sets of curls and have never done anything to their legs. So you're just going to be a bunch of loser dudes, probably staring at each other, taking selfies, that are their upper half of their body is going to look ripped in silicone. And then they're going to have legs that are, you know, about that, about that far around. The muscular costumes are available as upper body, lower body, or full body suits, depending on which area of your body you want to show. Oh, God, that's not going to be good. You know what's going to happen there. You know. Prices for the muscular body suits range from $150 to $800, <clears throat> depending on the size and type of frame required. Online retailer AliExpress is charging $700 for an upper body Smithson muscle suit to give men the appearance of having perfectly toned abs. There it is. You don't think anybody notices when you show up the next day and you look like that, right? You, uh, you strut, what, you strut around the office? You know, Jeff, two days ago you were flabby and today you're absolutely shredded. Yeah. Uh, it really worked out last night. Yeah. My body fat went from 60 to 8% in two days. Uh, yeah. Is there a female? I, should I ask? Is there a female version of this? Uh, I'm sure there is. The body suits feature additional realistic elements, including arm veins, chiseled collarbones. Who has a chiseled collarbone? <laughs> All of it is to give you and those staring at you naked, I guess, that you have a ripped physique. Um, when do you break it to her that it's not really you? My love, love, like, when does that come up? How long does it take you, if you're really turned on, how long does it take you to get out of that thing? Eight hundred, eight hundred, eight hundred. 